Well, Buffalo mass shooting suspect Peyton Gendron left behind a manifesto claiming the great replacement theory motivated his alleged actions of shooting 10 African Americans. The racially motivated supermarket shooting has some in Chattanooga trying to come with solutions to stop it from happening here. News 12's Scott Coral is live in the studio with more. Scott. A recent Associated Press poll shows a third of all Americans believe the country is targeting white males and replacing them with people of other races or religions. It's a theory that has a population growing in number, volume, and violence. You will not replace us! 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 The words from those believing in the Great Replacement Theory. Those words grew to action in Pittsburgh, El Paso, now Buffalo. The Great Replacement Theory was popularized by a book in 2011 by French author Renaud Camus, generally explaining that the white male is being demographically and culturally replaced with minorities or immigrants, and the plan is masterminded by Jews. Locally, one faith leader says not only is that false, but Jews actually have a mantra to leave the world better than you came into it. They have a way to achieve that. Have conversations, reach out to people, make friends with these people because they're just like you and I are. We are just Americans trying to make a living, trying to take care of our children, trying to make a better place. Several news articles trace the roots of the Great Replacement Theory to eugenics in Nazi Germany. A local crisis psychologist says we shouldn't return to an 86-year-old idea. Don't go back down that road. We've been there before. We know where it goes, and it's not pleasant for anybody. So let's learn from history and not go down that road again. The road both Bernard and Dizek say we should travel is one that is biblical in nature. Show everyone that they have value by treating our neighbors as we would ourselves. If we just treated people as friends, acquaintances, people that we can get to know, even with the disagreements we might have, what a better world this would be. Michael Dizek of the Jewish Federation of Greater Chattanooga wants leaders of all faiths and races to stand together to combat the increase in racially motivated attacks. He says that would mark the beginning of Chattanooga's art of neighboring. In the studio, Scott Coral, News 12 Now.